Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. My name's Derek Ray and joining me for commentary on this game is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And live action coming up from the Carabao Cup. It's Wickham Wanderers taking on Manchester United. Yeah, cheers Derek. Well, what a big moment for this club and these fans. But as underdogs, you've got to put the pressure on early doors. You've got to use that home advantage, push back the team that's playing against you and hopefully get a goal just to put the pressure on. The line-up then for the hosts. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central striker will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the fullbacks will be asked to support from behind. Thank you. This is the team Manchester United will go with. And the match begins. Wheeler. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Beautifully timed. Greenwood. Extremely sloppy in possession. Well, I know many people question the wisdom of using him in this position, but you have to say he's adapted well, and if the last few games are anything to... Will he finish? There it is, and just the ideal start. Well, let's see that again. Oh, it's so sweetly hit. Look at his technique absolutely brilliant he's got the power he's got the accuracy and now he's got himself a goal so they're playing again it's manchester, manchester united, united with the lead here number eight one matter wheeler and wheeler couldn't hang on to it And that puts them in position. So a throw in here. Pereira crossing into the middle. And he was in the right place to intercept. Rashford. Gomez. Garner. Juan Mata. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Pereira. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Playing with purpose and control. Foiling them effectively. And he has just veered into an offside position this time. Greenwood. And that was a very fine read. Can he take the chance? And a goal here for Manchester United. They are the big favourites now. Well, here it is again. It looks a simple goal. He gets in a position not that far out from goal, but he has to hit the target. He does that, and it's in the back of the net. It's going their way. 2-0. Goal for Manchester United. Number eight, Juan Mata. 
And let's join Alan McAnally because I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Derby County game. Alan? It's a goal from Derby County. 26 minutes played, 1-0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. There's plenty of know-how in the ball shielding department. Wheeler. Crisp tackling. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. And very deftly cut out. Tremendous intuition to win it back. And at first glance, you would think a strong possibility of a red card. Let's see. A red card then, and that could really complicate life for them. It did look as though things were going their way. Well, it should be an easy end to this game, but maybe not now. They give the opposition a chance. A deft clearance. It's with Timothy Fosu Mensa. This is Jones. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? And they could get one back here. And a goal! Not over just yet. Well, here it is again. You're trained from a young age to get in those sort of positions. And never in any real doubt he finished that. Cool and composed. So there we have it. 2-1. Let's get details of a goal that's been scored in one of the other games from Alan McAnally. A really sumptuous ball. And it's played into the centre. It might be. And it's in for Manchester United. They are on a victory course. Well, they've taken a lot of pressure down to ten men, but they've dug in. They really have tried to get back into this game and how they've done that. So there it is, 3-1, the current scoreline here. Phillips. Freeman. We've been waiting to find out, now we know, a minimum of three added minutes here. Thou shalt not pass was the message delivered. And teammates to play it to. I must admit, I thought he was going to score with that header. Yeah, it was a quality cross, and he gets up well, and it's just wide. And with that, the first half draws to a close. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Diogo Dallo. Possession one. Teammate in support. Don't forget, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Manchester United facing Southampton. Well, that should be a really interesting matchup atmosphere. I'm sure we're going to get an absolute bell to Derek. Pereira. 
Greenwood. There's a slide draw pass. He just needs to stay level-headed now. Well, it's goal after goal after goal. Just no end to this. A brilliant display. Well, so much has gone against them in this game. But wow, have they dug in and they've got their reward. Sadly, we have to conclude that this hasn't really been a contest, but all credit to any side committed to scoring goals like this. And he's made headway. Just a bit too high with that powerful effort. Yeah, he's just leaned back, Derek. Power was there, but not the direction. Thompson. Well, you've got to try to make it a bit more difficult for your opponent than that. Half an hour remaining then. Well, Manchester United controlling possession here. Really starting to dictate the tempo of this game now. And they're creating chances as well. I'm not sure their opponents seem to have the answer, to be honest. They can't seem to get a foothold in this game. Marcus Rashford. Outrageously skillful. Mata is positioned, back post here. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. And let's join Alan McAnally because I'm hearing there's been a goal on the Derby County game. Alan? It's a third goal from Derby County. 64 minutes played, 3-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. He's found a pocket of space. That's well blocked. A sloppy pass. Shot attempted, going for power there, but just too much elevation. on the short lead yeah over the bar Derek with pace he's a little unlucky United have been getting two substitutes ready and both will come on he continues to make hay this looks promising Simple for the keeper. This might be ideal for the counter. Lingard. And he takes it on. The goals keep going in for them. I don't think they're going to throw this away now. Absolutely omnipotent. Counter-attacking football at his purest, superb use of pace, a fabulous goal. And we're underway again. This game very much over as a contest. Just been a thoroughly cogent and convincing performance in this match late. Well, for United, they create promising-looking ball. Let's get an update from Molyneux because there's been a goal there. Alan McAnally with the details. It's a third goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Ten minutes remain. 3-1. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Freeman. And scope for them to produce something exciting. What can he do from here? Fine cross into the middle. A very attractive looking move. Easy on the eye, but nothing there. He's lost it. It looks promising. Well, straight at the goalkeeper then. Substitution time it is.
And just the one minute left in normal time here. Two minutes of added time. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Well, he's given us away. There's the final whistle. The travelling fans are full of the joys because they are moving on. Well, you do have to say, Derek, that we stern a test to follow, but I really like watching this team. They've progressed to the next round, fully deserved. What awaits them in the next round, we wait and see, but I'm excited about their future. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance this evening, Lee. Well, clearly the difference between the two sides today. Two goals, a really good performance, ran into the channel, did everything right, absolutely.